working exclusively with uh, with THQ for the brand new WWE All Stars arcade brawl stick here. And look at this, handily in my pocket. This is the, uh, the WWE All Stars brawl pad controller. So uh, All Stars is the first wrestling game, I believe, in history, Alex, uh, to have its very own line of officially licensed uh, uh, arcade peripherals. Isn't that cool? That is fantastic. I like your mic. Uh, your cameraman told me this is called a logo mic, right? Um, because it's a logo on a microphone, I believe. See, there yeah. you go. Now, I'm asked to do interviews for websites all the time, but if they don't have a logo mic, if it's just a regular microphone, I say no. That's how important I am as a global PR and communications manager. I only talk to microphones with a logo around it. It's very cool. Fantastic, thank you very much. But not it's as cool as our arcade controllers. No, I've got to say, no, it's not. Not that Aren't cool. Aren't these awesome? They are very awesome indeed. Wouldn't you say they're a red hot, tip top, non stop, one stop shop roller coaster rider fun? I would. Yep. Just did, I think. <laughs> So, uh, so these are cool, and uh, they're, they're coming out to accompany the launch of WWE All Stars later this month. Uh, you see, we've got official artwork taken directly from the game. So, uh, so on the brawl stick itself, we've got uh, the Rock and Triple H, and then we're doing two designs here of the brawl pad. So you've got Rock and Triple H, and we have an, another design that, by the time you've seen this video, we've probably announced. But uh, but whilst we're making it now, I can't tell you what it is. But you're gonna find out real soon. Secret information. Yes, uh, they're both coming out on Xbox 360 and uh, and PS3, and uh, you know we think you know. When, when we started talking to THQ just over a year ago, they showed us the game and we realized how cool the game was going to be, very much a, a more of an arcade experience than previous WWE games of the last few years. So uh, we realized it was going to be a, a, just a great, good old-fashioned arcade-style brawler, and we realized what a great fit that would be for our range of market-leading fight sticks. So it totally changes the game, really, when you play it, doesn't it? It really does. It's a very different experience, yeah. And, uh, you know, those of us who have played, like, the N64 wrestling games, and myself, I remember games like like Royal Rumble or WrestleFest, <laughs> WrestleMania in the arcade. And you know, I, I think WWE is all about spectacle and I'm really pleased that, that uh, the gameplay goes back to an arcade experience. And you're yeah. absolutely right, just like playing Street Fighter with a, an arcade fight stick, changes the experience so too with WWE All-Stars I think it's a fantastic game with the standard controller but when you use one of our brawl pads or the arcade brawl sticks I think it really does take on a whole other dimension so it's absolutely fantastic to play with one of the official controllers so uh, I'm happy to walk you through some of the features here this is called the control module up here it's a fancy name isn't it Alex very fancy it's very a fancy name for a fancy stick so here's the control module up here and uh, and you can see that you've got a little turbo button so I can see that, when yes. it's plugged in you can press the turbo button and then you you press your action button and basically you can assign two levels of uh, turbo fire to any of the action buttons on the stick and you can do that on the fly okay. without ever having to pause the game in any way so uh, and then they light up showing you which uh, corresponding action button has got turbo so you can have this on fast turbo this one on slow turbo then you can switch it off so it really makes pulling off some of the more intricate moves some of the combos of the characters so much easier uh, than when you're just relying on the stick itself uh, you've got a little lock button here as well so this is pretty cool when you've got that in lock mode you can't access the home button uh, accidentally and actually stop play, which we know happens a lot when you're playing on a regular controller, right? That's how your buddies cheat. They accidentally they press the home button and pretend it was by accident. So now there's no more of that. You can actually lock it down. And then there's a little switch here. This is cool. This uh, this will switch between LS, DP, and RS, and that basically okay. ch uh, changes the uh, the Japanese style ball top joystick you see here. So that'll uh, change the configuration from left stick, D pad, or right stick. So it means not only will it control perfectly with WWE All Stars, but it's also great for old school games that you'll find on the PSN network or Xbox Live Arcade. So uh, you've got a great range of functions there. Around the back here, uh, you see you've, we've moved the start and select buttons to the rear. So again, you can't accidentally press the start button in match and uh, and actually stop play. And then actually on the uh, on the brawl pad controller. You can see it's uh, it, it's actually got a lot of the same features. You've got the classic six-button arcade-style configuration here. Uh, you can assign two levels of turbo fire, just like on the brawl stick. You can do the same Fantastic. with the brawl pad. Uh, it's got a little switch underneath here as well that you can switch uh, between the left analog thumbstick, the D-pad, or the right analog thumbstick. And uh, Alex, what you might notice from this controller is it has no thumbsticks. You I have see. noticed so, this. Uh, for the people who haven't played uh, Street Fighter fight pads before, this okay. is called a circular eight-way floating D-pad. That's very fancy. It's a very fancy name for a very fancy control indeed it is. I like the word fancy. It's not used in relation to video games enough these days. I'm going to start using it on a daily basis and fancy is my word of the day. And uh, what, <laughs> what this does is it combines an analog thumbstick with a D-pad movement as well. So it kind of rolls 
in your hand. It feels very much like a Sega Saturn uh, D-pad. And again, it just makes pulling off the controls uh, and, and special moves much, much easier than when you're using a standard D-pad from the Xbox pad or, or the PlayStation controller. So okay. it's perfectly suited to fighting games. All the buttons have been reworked uh, specifically to, to be instantly accessible for WWE All-Stars, uh, as opposed to, say, Street Fighter uh, when you're using these controllers. And really, there's no better way to play than with the Brawl Pad controller or with the arcade ball stick. How much can we expect to pay for these very fancy controllers? Well, for these fancy controllers, so the fancy WWE All-Stars arcade ball stick will sit you back $69.99, and the Brawl Pad controller will be about $29.99, coming from all good retailers to accompany the launch of the game. Fancy. They're brilliant, aren't they? Fancy. <laughs> hey, can we look at the camera and after three we say the word fancy together? One, two, three. Fancy. fancy. There you go. That'll live in your nightmares. <laughs> Taxi.